O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son, O God of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle? Who may abide upon your holy hill? Whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right, who speaks the truth from his heart. There is no guile upon his tongue. He does no evil to his friend. He does not heap contempt upon his neighbor. In his sight, the wicked is rejected. But he honors those who fear the Lord. He has sworn to do no wrong and does not take back his word. He does not give his money in the hope of gain, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never be overthrown. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the second letter to the Corinthians. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Just as we have the same spirit of faith that is in accordance with Scripture, I believed, and so I spoke. We also believe, and so we speak. Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus, and will bring us with you into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart, Even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich, rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the Law of Moses, the Prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the Scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are the witnesses of these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The story of Joseph Sharashevsky is unique in the annals of the church. He was born on May 6, 
1831, of Jewish parents in the Lithuanian town of Tarogan. His early education was directed toward the rabbinate, but during the graduate studies in Germany, he became interested in Christianity through missionaries of the London Society for the Promotion of Christianity Amongst the Jews and through his own reading of, Hebrew, of the Hebrew translation of the New Testament. In 1854, Sharashevsky emigrated to America and in, entered the Western Theological Seminary in Pittsburgh to train for the ministry of the Episcopal Presbyterian Church. After two years, he decided to become an Episcopalian and to finish his theological studies at the General Theological Seminary in New York City, from which he graduated in 1859. After ordination, in response to Bishop Boone's call for helpers in China, Sharashevsky left for Shanghai. Always facile in languages, he learned to write Chinese during the voyage. From 1862 to 1875, he lived in Peking and translated the Bible and parts of the prayer book into Mandarin. After Bishop Williams was transferred to Japan, Sharashevsky was elected Bishop of Shanghai in 1877 was consecrated in Grace Church, New York City. He established St. John's University in Shanghai and began his translation of the Bible and other works into Wen Li. Stricken from, with paralysis, he resigned his see in 1883. Sharsevsky was determined to continue his translation work, and after many difficulties in finding support, he was able to return to Shanghai in 1895. Two years later, he moved to Tokyo, there he died on October 15, 1906. With heroic perseverance, Sharashevsky moved to the campus of School of Theology, Theology of the University of the South in Suwannee, Tennessee, where he completed his translation of the Bible, typing some 2,000 pages with the middle finger of his partially crippled hand. Four years before his death, he said, I have sat in this chair for over 20 years. It seemed very hard at first, but God knew best. He kept me for the work of, for which I am best fitted. He is buried in the Aoma Cemetery in Tokyo, next to his wife, who supported him constantly during his labors and illness. I had never heard of uh, Bishop Sharashevsky until I moved uh, to work in New York at General Theological Seminary. It turned out that we had several of his translations of the Bible. Um, I encourage you, if we're ever able to travel again, and to visit General Theological Seminary to see these wonderful works. Um, of course, now we think about things like translations of the Bible and missionary work and the conversion of Jews in a different light than we did when um, Sharashevsky first joined the Christian faith, but I think it's important to think about this work that he did with his middle finger of his partially crippled hand, and to actually hold those works in your hand is really an extremely moving experience that I myself have, have had. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to the enlightened nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we be bound together with by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed John the Divine, blessed Joseph Sharashevsky, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O oh God, in your providence you called Joseph Sharashevsky to the ministry of this church and upheld him in his infirmity that we might translate the Holy Scriptures into Chinese languages. Inspire us by his example and prayers to commit our talents to your service, confident that you uphold those whom you call through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God and forever, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. We remember this night all who are dear to us, all on our parish prayer list, all those in need, and all those who have died. During this time of pandemic, we pray for those directly infected with the virus, for those at high risk for infection, for those in quarantine, the shut-in and the infirm, and for those whose lives have been claimed by the virus. For all hospitals, doctors, nurses, and staff, first responders, for service industry workers, and for those experiencing financial loss and uncertainty of resources. For all schools, students, teachers, administrators, and school staff. For all student scientists and those working to find a cure. We entrust each of these to your never failing love and care for this life and for the life to come, knowing that you are doing better things for them than we can ask for or imagine. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Break the systemic racism that pervades every segment of our society. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle to accomplish your purposes on earth as we strive to enact a just society. That all last at last, that at last all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. I invite your prayers of intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies. We, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, all, for your immeasurable love. 
and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with thankful, truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all the days. Through Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him generation from generation to generation, the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for worshiping with us at the Chapel of St. John the Divine. To find out more about the chapel, please visit our website at chapelsjd.org. Here you may find out more about the Episcopal Church, rewatch a service, make a financial contribution, and more. Please join us on Sundays at 10 a.m. for Holy Eucharist, and on Wednesdays at 5.15 p.m., and now on Fridays at 5.15 p.m. for evening prayer. Daily Compline services stream at 8 p.m. Our live streams begin five minutes before the service begins. Again, thank you. <laughs>